Welcome back to my channel guys. This is Zaping Cuts here. I'm gonna show you how to do a mid fade. So first off, we're gonna clip away the top of his hair. And we're now we're gonna remove the side bulk with the number two. Making sure not to dig into his hair. We're just kind of scooping out towards the top of the ridge of the head. Now we're gonna create our guideline with the lever fully open. So this guideline is gonna be about like midway of his head. And what I like to do is drop it down slightly towards the back. Now we're gonna create our ball line with our clipper lever fully closed. And what we want to do is leave about an inch from the ball line to the top of that guy line. Once we've done that, we're going to slightly open the lever and begin to raise that guideline. Now we're going to open the lever slightly more. So keep in mind as you're going up, you're also opening the lever as you begin to raise that line. And what I like to do once I'm at the top of that guideline, I like to kind of flick out a little bit just so it softens it up. Now we're gonna get our one and a half guard lever fully open. And begin to go up about two inches. It shouldn't really create a, a line just because we went with the number two guard on the sides. So, but this is gonna be removing more, more of the bulk. Now we got our number one guard fully open as well. Focusing more on that line we see in the bottom. And we're going up about about an inch. The next step is to close the lever fully with the number one guard still on. And begin to hit that bottom that line we see just to kind of soften it up some more. I like to go different angles just to make sure it's actually cutting. Now we're gonna put on our 1 16th card lever fully open and begin to soften up that line even more so you can see it's slight it's fading slowly and getting lighter now we're going to close the lever fully and begin to knock out that line. So this guard is the guard that's gonna be bringing the whole fit together. As you can see, it's pretty much blending in. And I'm, as I'm going up, he has like some dark area. So like the higher you're going up, the more the lever has to be open just so you don't create a patch or a lighter spot. So 
so I'm like fully open right there. I went back with my one and a half bar just to remove some more of the top area just because I felt there's a little bit too much hair there. So feel free to go back with your guards and just detail your work. So I came back with my number one guard just because I felt like it needed a little more detail work. I was just opening and closing as needed in certain areas. But these are the steps that you could take once you're done following the whole system, just to kind of elevate your cut. Now we're gonna get our trimmers and begin to remove the bottom hair so that we could pass over that area with our shaver. Now we get our shaver and begin to, to bald out that bottom area. So I like to kind of uh, bald it downwards once I'm closer to the fade and once I'm around like the neck area, we can go upwards just so that it doesn't create a line in the fade. Now we're gonna move on to the lineup area. So first I like to comb out the hair and then I start in the middle and make my way to either side. It's very important to comb out the hair as you're lining up just so that you get all those hairs that are sticking out. So I like to keep the lineup very sharp, but also natural. Yeah, this is the before, this is how he came in. He had a lot of bulk on the sides. And this is the after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if this video helped you, if you learned anything new. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and comment below what you guys wanna see next. So thanks for watching.